once again. Uh, so stalemate in the second half, Richie. Do you think they're going to be separated in uh, extra time? I don't think either team did enough to win the game. If we're seeing footage here of tired looking players getting treatment, I think the real winner so far in this is Gareth Southgate and the England players. As you mentioned, both of these teams needed extra time and penalties in the previous round. They now have to deal with an extra half an hour and possibly penalties. All of this will add to the fatigue that they're carrying into the game on Wednesday night. The game went as we expected it to, but I think Russia are sticking to their task. They're limited, they know they are. Croatia have had more of the ball, but can't get an opening. Perisic hitting the post early on. After about an hour, was the closest either team has come. Going on what we've seen so far, Diddy, in tonight's match and indeed in the tournament, do you think either of these sides will say, let's get this to penalties? Uh, Russia will take it. Uh, I think the more likely will be Croatia because they have all the ball. Russia defend, uh, they're not really interested in uh, committing players forward. Hardly created anything or created nothing really in the, in, the, in the second half. If you offer Russia a penalty shoot, I'm sure they'll take it. I'm not sure about Croatia because if there was a goal, I think it'll be Croatia uh, because I don't know how Russia is going to score uh, if you don't commit players forward. OK, but we know when players get tired, mistakes can be made. And Damien, you've experience of playing an extra time uh, in the World Cup. I mean, what's the fatigue factor like? for these players? Well, everyone thinks legs, but it's it's your mental side as well. You could see from the last two corners there, Russia totally switched off. They were daydreaming and Croatia nearly got in on it. But for all Croatia's possession, uh, Russia look as e equally as dangerous in attack. But it's going to be harder for Croatia now. Uh, Russia have five midfielders on with Gazinski and Arakin. So, listen, it's going to be something special or a horrendous mistake because they do look dead on their feet.